You yeah. know I love you like a brother, right? Right, and likewise. When I moved, when I moved to Boulder in 85, I had $10,000. I had 18. I just settled to suit some guy. I put 10 in the bank, and I walked around with eight like Johnny Bananas. I went through it in a month, right? Because that's what we do. We right. went through it in a month in pizza slices. Who eats $8,000 in pizza slices? <laughs> it's a lot of pizza. And nickel bags. So I had to get a job. So I went through this mall with a fake credit card. And I mean, I banged everybody out. But during when I was robbing the fucking mall, I applied for a job there and I got the job. So they fingered me a month later. I robbed every place in there and never got banned from the mall. This motherfucker was hitting on so many 16-year-old chicks. They banned him from the mall. And wait till they start getting the reports from the roller skating rink. Yeah. See, he killed all those bitches. Because I know that motherfucker was roller skating on Sundays to fucking Elton John songs. And that's crazy because one of the, the the law enforcement around there, you know, said, yeah, you know, he's he's a he's a known he's known to talk to underage girls, blah blah blah. It's a common it's common knowledge, and you know that's that's law enforcement saying that about your ass. You know, when you're running for office down there, you know what's crazy? When I was it's eighteen, crazy. I hated talking to underage girls. When I was 16, I hated talking to 16-year-old girls. Do you know that? Like, I liked older <laughs> women. I always liked talking to a little older. Even a couple of years at that age makes a big difference. It does. Like, that's why when I see guys that are 50 dating a 22-year-old, what the fuck can you be talking about? Whistles? Yeah, what, what, yeah, <laughs> what, what do you, you got to... Yeah, what do you got to... What do you have in common? After you fuck them 20 times and you spill <laughs> milk on them and, you know... And, and then a poor girl that's 20... She's blown a kid in high school. His milk tastes like going to Kevin Spacey's nephews. <laughs> and then she decides to suck a dick as old and ratty as mine. And that's like skim milk with fucking goat cheese in it. And fucking vomit chunks. What do you do? Do you stick around and take that abuse? <laughs> you know, I would imagine, depending on the, the pocketbook, you know, some stick around. But if it's a broke motherfucker, they're out. Boom. Out of here. Oh, my God. Good to have you on the show. Good, good, good being Fucking, here. Fucking uh, never in my life have I met somebody who's been in more bands. You're the man. You're the <laughs> this is the of truth. Rage, prophets of fire. <laughs> Ten Puerto Ricans and a knife. <laughs> you know, <laughs> two Mexicans and a beanie. No, no, they're pinga. Well, do you hear they're pinga? No, 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 no. <laughs> and man, that's a big credit because that means you haven't stopped since God knows when did this all start. Well, you know. um, our first Cypress Hill album came out in 91, Jeez. but, you know, we, like, you know, just as enthusiasts as, as this shit was our hobby, this is the shit we love, Run DMC was, like, you know, the first shit that turned me on to hip-hop, really. I mean, there was stuff out before Run DMC, and we learned about that later, but that was the shit, and, you know, just doing it, like, emulating those guys, we were doing it probably, like, in 85, 86, but you know, we turned pro by getting a deal in in 1990, and releasing the album in '91. And from there, you know, we just kind of, you know, we we were thankful for having the fucking opportunity because you know we didn't know if our shit was gonna hit or not. We knew we had some different shit that was kind of hard to swallow. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you know, like um, a brand new porn chick trying to you know suck off. What's his name? Uh, Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> no, yeah, him, yeah. <laughs> Manding or, the, or something? Or the elephant, fucking uh, <laughs> Jeremy. Like a, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ron Jeremy. He yeah. came out here and played the harmonica. Yeah, oh, I bet God. he did. He's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> He's a cool dude, He's a man. cool dude. Very man. cool dude. No, but I'm saying, you know, it, it, shit is tough. When you first see Jeremy, what's his name? Ron, Ron Jeremy. Jeremy. When you first see Ron Jeremy, you freeze. You freeze up. <laughs> you think of Rock Hudson. You think of skinny people and shit. <laughs> yeah. You no. think of all those hoes. He busted the assholes. Yeah. And you're kind of hesitant to shake his hand. <laughs> yeah. And while you're shaking his hand, you're like, there better be Purell in the bathroom. Yeah. Or you better have some but fucking surgical talking. gloves. Bro, on. he talked to me in a bank lot one time. Like, you know what I'm saying? That is a cool dude. Who the fuck am I? This is 15 years ago. I go, hey, man, you're a bad motherfucker. And he stopped. We talked. You think about it, he's a legend in his field. He really is, you know? man. So, you know, like, again, <laughs> our music... I can't wait till somebody says he sexually harassed him. Oh, That's yeah. going to be the best. He's like, bah! bah. I yeah. had them all, bitch. Sue me. I sexually <laughs> harassed him on tape and got paid for it. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. No, 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 no. It's a different world we live in. Oh, yeah. I'm not even going to put my hand, arms around women no more when I take headshots. 
I decided, shoulder to shoulder, like the Just Marines. Don't say shit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> because you never know. I know some of you got sued for headlocking people. You know, like when the UFC fighters yeah. used to headlock them? Two UFC fighters. That's why they're not allowed to headlock you no more in pictures or strangle you and shit. Hey, man, I just asked for a picture, and now I got this broken fucking neck. <laughs> but you know what's crazy oh. to me that I've been thinking? I'm 54. I'm a little older. Like everybody says rap started with, let's pretend. I don't even know. Let's just pretend I'm talking out of line here. The Sugar Hill Gang. Right. Let's pretend. You know. Well, they, they were like, I think, the first to... One of the first to put out a big record. I saw something the other day that blew my mind. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I want you to put on the Fonny All Stars live from Japan, Ponte Duro. Okay, this like this is what I was thinking about, like how. Okay, let's take what's the what's the the the, the form of music that first started in '83 on the boxes. They used to put boxes out and do the wars and shit. Yeah, that was based off of, uh, you know, the DJs like Cool Herc and Grandmaster Flash. Well, what were they doing? They were wars. Yeah, and yeah. And I would spin on my head to spin around. And yeah. And I would get up and instead of fist fighting, I'd throw it. was like. They were break dancing? They were playing break dancing. Yes, they were playing breaks while the, the, the guys were break dancing. You know, b-boying. B-boying. All that. Like the, right now, the, one of the best jujitsu schools is. The ones with the one, the dudes where they were break dancers, yeah, where they have a break dancing school. Those and, two uh, jujitsu schools, which are Tenth Planet, those motherfuckers are killing people, killing because their bodies. What's the name of the song? I have oh, live in Japan. P O N T D U R O. This is one of the weirdest things. I just when I write at night, I put YouTube on, and I put the music on one i don't really hear the music but i do it's just there and you're writing and you're right. typing and you're doing this it's ambiance and it's something and i was and this came on right there the second one that, that's in africa is that okay yeah yeah that's the one i okay. want to i want to show okay and there's a part here i see where you're going but this is beautiful because this is 19 uh 60 something it's not even about the music in this okay. let it queue up a little bit it's about the percussion it's about the percussionist and what he does. We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker. 